<laughs> help is on the way. As an example of the help God is sending, take hope from a supernatural intervention I had in college. Because of this encounter, I was kept from harm and delay in my preparation for service. God sent a mighty angel to help me, and he will help you too. How precious is that, church? When I went, excuse me, when I attended school, I was very excited to be there. Everything was new. And I wanted to get the most out of my time there. I was on a partial scholarship, so I had to keep my grade point average up to remain qualified for it. I needed to study most of the time because I was not then a person who learned easily and quickly. The university had frequent social functions and everything seemed inviting. But I did not have enough time to do everything I wanted. I was meeting many new people who frequently asked me to attend these events. I wondered how they could get their studies done when they were always out having fun. Finally, I felt that these activities were competing with my spiritual life and the Lord started reminding me why he had sent me to college. It was difficult, but I became more disciplined and stayed in my room studying instead of socializing. I had to shut my drapes to eliminate the destruction of the activities outside of my room distraction of the activities outside of my room as the weeks and months went by i began spending more time in prayer i felt that i had been warned by the holy spirit that i would miss what the lord had for me if i did not use my time wisely as my prayer time increased, so did my hunger for God. And I noticed that my sensitivity to the spirit rhythm had become greater. I started missing meals, fasting, and spending that time in prayer as I became hunger, hungrier for him than for food. Amen. Then one night I had a mighty visitor. I wonder who that mighty visitor was. Y'all want to find out? While pacing the floor of my room and praying, the door which I had shut and locked flew open. In the doorway stood a large, imposing looking being who was dressed in full woman soldier type armor. He was eight to nine foot tall. The minute he stood, stepped inside my room, a powerful presence swept over me. And I collapsed into the floor as if I had fainted. I couldn't move and I felt overwhelmed and paralyzed. This mighty warrior woke woke up to uh, excuse me, walked up to me, kneeled down and touched me with his hand. Then I was immediately strengthen and he helped me to my feet he was magnificent and when I looked into his eyes I saw his complete lack of fear 
Touring over men, speaking in a bold manner, he announced, I have been sent from to give you this message. Do not associate with this group of people. In a flash, I saw about 15 people from school who had recently befriended me. They are about to be exposed and God doesn't want you to have anything to do with them. That shocked me because I did not think there was anything wrong with them. See, this is where we have to use our discernment. Amen. It continued talking. He continued talking, but then stopped in the middle of a sentence. He was obviously listening to someone I could not hear or see. When he finished listening, he did not he did not finish his message to me. Instead, he said, I have to go. I am called to another place. I go. I go down the hall right now to the prayer room and the Holy Spirit will finish this message. In my youthful ignorance, I made a mistake. I told this mighty warrior that he should finish the message since he was here. Ignoring me, he turned, stepped into the hallway, pointed down the hall and ordered. I said, go now. Then he quickly walked away in the opposite direction. I could sense that he was not pleased with me as he left. He was unlike other angels I had encountered. He seemed to be a warrior. I did go to the prayer room where the Holy Spirit confirmed and uh, retreated what the warrior angel had spoken and then gave me more details about why that group of people would be expelled. The Holy Spirit told me that I was continue to listen to my heart, which was telling me to stay separate to myself for a period of time. He confirmed that I was being protected and that this was a vulnerable time for me. There were, excuse me, there are times when God will have you focus solely on your assignment and ask you to spend quality time with him rather than engage in other pursuits that is very true the holy spirit confirmed my destiny that day in the prayer room and encountered me to remain faithful six months after that visitation the college expelled each individual in that group and they were never seen again I was grateful that God has sent a messenger to keep me from making a mistake that could have delayed or derailed preparation for my destiny. Since God is serious about watching over your destiny and even protect your future with heavenly beings, whether or not you notice them, it is time for you also to get serious. Yes, it is. Time to get serious for the Lord. Amen. This is the season to find your passion and intensely pursue God and his purpose for your life during this end time season. Heaven, hell, life, and death are at stake for billions of people. You have a unique role to play in the end time drama. And you do. You have a role it is that you need to play. Amen. And when you have a messenger that comes to you to reveal things to you, you need to listen and um, listen to the messenger because they're giving you a message for a reason. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have a great and a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May these um, books have blessed you guys as it has blessed Last Days Prophecy Church that they were donated into the ministry and I am sharing so that it will be a blessing into you as you are part of Last Day Prophecy Church as well. Amen. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.